and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be something a little bit different as the title implies and this lovely hairstyle I've got going on. It is Boxing Day today. For my American friends who don't know, Boxing Day is the day after Christmas. I believe that is a UK and Canada thing. But it's been the holidays and, you know, Christmas was yesterday, busy over the last week or so, or even longer getting ready. And I thought this would be a good day to do a relaxing face mask. This is not a review in any way. I thought what we could do today is that I'm gonna pop on this face mask. It is one that lasts about 10 minutes, or you leave it on for 10 minutes before washing it off. If you have a face mask you want to put on that also takes about 10 minutes, we can both put our masks on. I'm just gonna chat about stuff for about 10 minutes with relaxing, soothing music in the background. Not in an exciting voice, just hopefully a soothing sort of 10 minutes together. I can keep track of the time for us. I figured I would talk a little bit about holidays, about a couple of bath products I'm enjoying. Just chatting, a little rambling, whatever that is. So I'm gonna put this on now. If you wanna put on a mask, this is a good point to pause the video and go do that. Uh, as I am putting this on and then we will start our 10 minutes. If you like this idea, a little bit more of a chatty laid back kind of get ready with me, but for doing some skincare, then like this video and tell me so in the comments. I am using one of the capsule masks from my Face Shop 4 pack of masks. This is the Pomegranate Resilience Lifting, but they're all just basically moisturizing masks. It's got very little smell, a tiny bit fruity, and it's just got a couple of little pink spots in there that I guess are the pomegranate pieces. Ooh. A nice cooling cream consistency. I'll just get it all on my face and then spread it around. Okay, it is currently 10.17. We will take off our masks at 10.27. And I am just going to wipe off my hand a little bit here. So the idea for this video is I'm not gonna edit anything during the 10 minutes. The only thing that I might edit a little bit is uh, I have a little bit of a, and not runny nose, but I've been sneezing a little bit lately and uh, I'll only edit out the sound of loud sneezes if I sneeze, just so you're not listening to that because somebody sneezing is not particularly relaxing. Before I get into talking a little bit about my holidays, I thought I would tell you just about a couple of bath products or face products that I've been using. I've been really enjoying having like relaxing showers. I'm not really that much of a bath person. I try to be, I'll do it every once in a while, but I fill up a bath, I sit in it, and then it's like, what do I do with myself? I'm just a little bit, I love the idea of being in a tub full of hot water because I am like, I love hot, hot, like steaming hot water on me, just warming me up and just like just on the edge of being like so hot it's painful. So I love the idea of like sitting in the hot bath, like in a hot tub or something like that. But you know, I don't have a huge soaking tub, so it's not like I can lie up to my neck in it if I like really squeeze down into the tub. But uh, then I'm just sitting there and I don't know what to do with myself. But I really like having like really hot showers and using like a nice shower products in there. So the two things I've really been enjoying lately is um, I got in my Boxylux box a sponge gel sponge that's like a little star shaped sponge with body wash infused in it. And of course, when I sit down to do this relaxing video, they are dumpling, dumping recycling containers outside. So you guys probably can't hear it. If you can, I'll just edit it out of the video. It's all good. Um, 
so yeah, this sponge is really nice. Now the idea is you're supposed to sort of put it underwater and squish it to get the foam going. But what I've been doing is just sort of rubbing the outside of it a little bit. I think I'll get more uses out of it. And if I don't get it really soaked, it's still a little bit of a scratchy texture. So I've been using it as like an exfoliating loofah almost, but it has this beautiful warm smell to the product that's in there and I find it sort of scents my washroom as well so when I go into my washroom I kind of get these little like whiffs of this really nice um, body wash that's in that sponge gel sponge. Uh, the other thing that I have been liking is right over here uh, this new body wash that I picked up it's just from Dial it's inexpensive when I'm going for body wash I go for low cost but this is the Marula Oil Nourishing Body Wash. And again, it has that smell that I can just sort of describe as warm. And if you've smelt Marula Oil, maybe you know what I'm talking about. It just feels very warming on these cold days. So it is moisture balanced, uh, moisturizing, clean, rinsing, rich lather, advanced moisture attracting formula for lasting lightweight hydration. You know, I don't think it's like spectacular ingredients. It's a dial body wash, but the scent of it is really nice. Oftentimes in the summer, I'll like really fruity scents and just more citruses and things to sort of wake you up and feel very refreshing. But in the winter, it's really nice to have something that feels very warming and nourishing and has that feeling. Uh, the other thing, and I just used last night and I was very pleased with it, I, um, I like trying out different, uh, you know, face products. Um, and the one thing that I always feel like I'm on the hunt for is a nighttime moisturizer. Like I did find um, the Ordinary's Rosehip Seer, uh, Rose Hip Seed Oil, which I really enjoy. But I know a lot of people will sort of wash their face, take off their makeup, wash their face, put on a moisturizer, let that sink in a little bit, and then put on an oil on top of it because the oil also helps to moisturize but then also kind of locks in the moisturizer and for me I really like my daytime moisturizer that has like SPF in it but I want it just a very nourishing nighttime moisturizer and I just haven't quite found it yet. Still don't know if I have but I used really nice samples of a product last night. So these are again for the face shop. I've only shopped there like twice, but somehow in this video, I'm just talking about face shop products. But I got these little samples. And the brand name of this, I guess, is uh, Yawadam. It's Y-E-H-W-A-D-A-M. Uh, and it was a revitalizing cream and then also a revitalizing eye cream. And it's like the same um, brand line. Just let that focus a little bit. Uh, and it was just enough for one use, really tiny containers. I did get a lot of eye cream. I probably could have done two uses of it. So I'm just trying not to sneeze. Um, but I put the uh, face cream on and it was very thick and very nourishing feeling. I put the eye cream on and because there was so much of it in that sample, I sh should have used it twice. Put it all under my eyes and then brought it down a little bit brought it over my eyes to moisturize my eyelid because I don't really moisturize my the skin on my eyes probably as much as I should. And it was like super thick and rich cream. And I um, afterwards uh, put just some drops of my rosehip seed oil in my palms, spread that around and kind of pressed it into my face and up against my nose. That's where I tend to get dry on my forehead. And it did not irritate my eyes in any way. It didn't make my skin irritated or itchy or anything. And I went to bed and I woke up this morning and just had the smoothest, plumpest, moisturized, awesome skin. Like it just felt better than it has in so, so long. And under my eyes felt really nice and moisturized. And uh, yeah, so I think later on today, I live downtown. I live in about a 20 minute walk of a big mall in Ottawa, the Rideau Center, uh, and they have a face shop there. So these samples are old. So I'm going to go and see if they still carry that line and also how much it is. It may be really expensive. It may be really cheap. The face shop has like a huge 
variety of uh, price points of their products. So I'm gonna go and see, and if it is reasonable, I might get myself some to do a bit of a longer test with it. So that was what I wanted to talk about, face products. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, <laughs> wow. 10 minutes goes by fast when I was talking. I was gonna talk a little bit about my holidays. Um, they were really nice. I spent time at my sister's place. So my sister also lives in Ottawa. Uh, she is more in the suburbs. She has a family. Uh, it's her, her husband and their two daughters. And um, for Christmas, my parents come in. They live in Toronto. They came in by train and uh, they stay at my sister's place. She has like, you know, guest room and everything like that. I'm in a little one bedroom condo. Uh, but I went down there and visited and then went down on Christmas Eve and stayed overnight. And we just have our little family traditions. So Christmas Eve, um, I have a raclette machine. Raclette is like a Swiss cheese meal. So there's a specific kind of cheese that is called raclette cheese. Uh, but it's a very Swissy kind of cheese, it melts really well. And basically the dinner is consisting of melted cheese on baguette and you melt it sort of bit by bit. So it takes a while to have the whole dinner. Uh, and my raclette machine has a little grill on top of it, flat top grill. So we chop up a bunch of veggies like uh, red pepper, mushrooms, onions, uh, some tomatoes, and then we also get some little pepperoni cured meats. Um, so we sort of grill that on top and then have it with the baguette and cheese and then you have like gherkin pickles with it and white wine and it just takes a while and the kids get to cook their own meal and uh, you know you get full up on cheese. <laughs> uh, and then my brother-in-law as part of his tradition will get a Yule um, log cake but an ice cream Yule log cake. And then, you know, we all do the Christmas evening thing and we have the same copy of Twas the Night Before Christmas that my mom read to my sister and I when we were young. She read it to my nieces. Uh, you know, we all go to bed and wait for Santa to come. And then next morning it's stockings and presents and my mom cooks and brings with her, bakes and brings with her um, coffee cake, which is really yummy. Um, and then we just spend a whole long day together, um, you know, very relaxing. I took a nap in the middle of the afternoon on my sister's couch. Uh, my nieces also got one of those um, retro NES Nintendos with all the original games loaded onto it. Uh, and I discovered that my memory of exactly how to play Super Mario Brothers 3, which was like my game, came back to me like that. Like I was through the first whole world um, only dying once the, oh no, I didn't even die once the entire time through it. Um, and then I need to give it up because it was my niece's present. <laughs> they wanted to play with it. Uh, and wonderful turkey dinner last night. Um, you know, I really enjoyed all the gifts that I got for my family. It's my favorite thing is having them unwrap the gifts that I get for them. I try to put some thought into it. Um, and then for my dad and my uncle and for others, I do my uncle, my brother-in-law, uh, and a number of others. I do a bunch of baking. So this year I made um, those butterscotch peanut butter marshmallow squares. Uh, I made shortbread thumbprint cookies with raspberry jam in the thumbprints. I made these peanut butter uh, chocolate bars, which taste like Reese's peanut butter cups. I made um, butter tart squares, which is my grandmother's recipe. Uh, and then I also made these little snacky things that are like salty pretzels with a Rolo melted on top and then a pecan on top of that. So it's like salty and caramelly and chocolatey. And I box all those up and give it to, uh, it's sort of the main gift for my brother-in-law and my dad, but then I also gift it out to other people too. Uh, yeah, and it was a really good, fun, nice Christmas this year. So it was very enjoyable. Um, you know, I'm gonna be very busy in the new year, uh, but we are two minutes past the time of being able to take off our masks. And because this isn't a review or anything like that, I'm not going to like go and wash and come back and tell you how it is. It's just a moisturizing mask. So I'm going to go wash my mask off, get on with my day. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you like these videos where we wear masks together and just chat in a relaxing, soothing kind of way, as I said, please let me know uh, and then we can do more of them. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.